Come on, motherfuckers. Come on, motherfuckers. Come on. Come on, motherfuckers. Come on. Hey guys, what's up? It's Big Check Films here, and welcome back to the reaction videos. It has been a long time since we've done one of these. That's mostly due to the fact that we just haven't had time to produce these videos, and on top of that, we're in our new apartment now, but now that we're a little bit cleared up, we can finally get back to these. And I figured the best way to start off is to take a look at another Thomas the Tank Engine George Carlin video, because... We've been getting emails about these like fucking crazy. So if you guys know, I'm a big Thomas the Tank Engine fan. I'm a big fan of George Carlin. He's one of my personal heroes. He is essentially the quintessential book to life about how it's so funny because it's true. And because this has been our most heavily requested reaction video, we figured let's uh, take a look and see what we got this time. This one is the volume two edition by Jaw2. If you guys want to see the original video, link down below. And of course, if you guys want to support our channel, feel free to hit that like, comment, subscribe button. And also don't forget to support us on Patreon. Just to learn more, we'll get you early access to all of our content as well as other special features. So let's just get this out of the way and continue where we left off with volume two. Toot toot, motherfucker. Maybe we'll stop feeling cold if we talk about warm things, like sunshine and steam. Or a nice tattoo of Madonna with her hand up your ass, muttered Thomas. <laughs> okay, I should point out, we're gonna make this a try not to laugh challenge. I figured I'd try one of those because if Markiplier can do it, why not me? So that one didn't count. <clears throat> the bus growled as he gazed at the happy passengers. Miserable pricks, he grumbled. I wouldn't have brought them if I'd known. I'd have had a breakdown or something. Duck felt shocked at such an idea. If you don't like it, suck my dick. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that guy. I forget who that bus dude was. He was like the anti-birdie. Oh my god. I'm not gonna laugh. I'm not gonna laugh. The conductor, fireman, and the guard buy tea and cakes from the refreshment lady. Love the models. The refreshment lady was making her way to the train. Bake me a fucking loaf of bread, said Peter Sam. Couple of corn muffins, jelly donut, I don't give a shit. I'm in the market for quality baked goods. <laughs> Bullshit, said Thomas's driver. We've been along here hundreds of times and never had an accident. That makes it worse, the policeman answered. He wrote regular lawbreaker in his... Okay, I need to pause, I need to pause. When I see... <sighs> when I see regular lawbreaker in his book, I just think of the YouTube poops where it says regular lawbreaker in his books. <laughs> LOL. Oh, I can't remember what YouTube poop that was. It was fucking hilarious. Thomas puffed sadly away. Fuck that lame-ass cop, said Thomas. The law is the law, he said, and we can't change This cop's an ass. Sir Topham Hatt felt exhausted. No one should ever do anything to help the police in any way, he said. Yep. I hear tell about an engine and some tires. Ah, down to Douglas. Shut up, said James. It's not funny. Fuck you. I think it's hilarious. How do you like that, said Donald. <laughs> Animals always run if you toot and look them in the eye. Even bulls? How the fuck should I know? What do you think I am, a fucking psychic? An angry farmer was telling Mavis just what she could do with her train. Get over here and give my dick a couple of jerks. Having trouble, Mavis? Chortle I remember Toby. this episode! I am surprised. Fuck you, said Mavis. I want to be fair, Douglas, but I don't know. Ah, fuck it. I'm <laughs> ready, answered James, ready for anything. You never see my paint dirty. No one is amused, said Toby innocently. So calm down and knock off the shit. Stop trying to draw attention to yourself. 
James yep. went redder than ever and snorted off. <laughs> now who's an old fuss pot? Laughed Nancy and set to work once Nancy's more. Nancy's weird. Holy shit, look at the fucking knobs on her. Lick my asshole, you dim-witted prick! <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? Asked Sir Topham Hat. Ball sniffer. <laughs> I, love, I love Sir Topham Hat says there. It's like, what's your name? Ball sniffer. What the fuck kind of name is that? But, said the other engines, the rest of us never thanked her properly. Exactly, said Thomas. So now I think we should all give her a special Christmas party. Well, get your penis tattooed to resemble a candy cane. Great for Christmas blowjobs. <laughs> Sir Topham Hat said, One, two, three, push! Nothing. What a bunch of pussies, said Sir Topham Hat. <laughs> Harold flew lower for a closer inspection. What the fuck is that? Whizzed Harold. Oh, These yes. are really funny. I oh, this like one again? Children. I, I like, like children. The harbor, the seaside, children. That will be lovely. You have a child fetish, and it's not healthy," said Edward. Ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho! Ooh, ooh! Bad Trevor. Bad Trevor. Bad. James's driver and fireman could not make him move. At last, the inspector arrived. Show a wheel, James. You can't stay here all day. Fuck you, I'm going home. I'm already motivated, said James. That, okay, that is me half the time. When I'm, uh... When I'm just, like, not... When I'm somewhere, I'm like, Fuck you, I'm going home. I'm already motivated. I'm gonna make videos. That's my life. Help, Thomas, help. We're glad to see you, again. called the children. You show me your wee-wee and I'll show you mine, said Thomas. No! 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 Thomas, my man, no! No! We'll all be back to work tomorrow. We're glad you've come back. We can keep you in order now. Keep me in order? Fuck that. Impudent scallywags. Arr! Botheration. That means I'll be late. They've cleared the line for you, but there's something worse. Out with it, Toby. I can't wait all evening. Thomas, stop being I a just kid. realized I haven't eaten an ice cream sandwich in 47 years. Masturbation is not illegal, replied the conductor. But if it were, people would probably take the law into their own hand. And remember, this is Mr. Conductor talking. I know what I'm talking about. Oh! I remember he said that in one of his stand-ups, and it... 100% true. Amazing, Mr. Conductor. But a truther nonetheless. Props, Carlin. Come on, Grandfather, cried the children. Do look at this engine. That's a tram engine, Stephen, said Sir Topham Hat. May we go in it, Grandfather, please? Would someone please explain to me the supposed appeal of having grandchildren, said Sir Topham Hat. <gasps> I don't get it. You have oh a leather boot lace there, said the conductor to a smartly dressed man. Please I give it to me. Side. Oh, it is, huh? Well, fuck you. Then I'm afraid the train will just stop where it is. I just want to point out, I remember how that goes, because I remember the, the Ring of a Star version. It's like, you have a boot lace. Please give it to me. I won't, said the man. Then I said, I'm afraid the train will just stop where it is. And this one is just, you know, please give us your boot lace. Fuck you. <laughs> Great editing. The passengers all said what a bad railway it was. Then they told I'm the man this how bad he was instead. All right, all right, all right. I'll give it a shot. The station master was furious. Get the fuck out of here! Ah! He Just 
crashes through. Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> it's the simplest things that always make me laugh. Sir Topham Hatt was enjoying hot porridge for breakfast. Okay, if you guys have watched my Thomas reactions, I love these. The Thomas, Sir Topham Hatt and his wife. I want this as a, as an adult swim series with these two just arguing about the fucking railway. Like, I don't know, Sir Topham Hatt's a dipshit. And the wife just wants the money. It just re oozes comedy. Just please, somebody make this. Robot chicken or whatever. Sir Topham Hatt was enjoying hot porridge for breakfast. Mm. Fuck you, you cunt, he said to his wife. Keep fucking with me, little dick. The butler came in. Excuse me, sir, you're wanted on Get the fuck out of my life. <coughs> Leslie, the way we're acting is crazy, said Sir <coughs> Topham Hatt. Let's put all this petty personal stuff behind us and act like professionals. What do you say? Good idea, I agree. Then he set off to catch his train. Oh my god! When Henry had got up steam, he puffed out. This one. He was dirty and covered with cobwebs. Oh, I'm stiff! I'm stiff! He groaned. Good. Stay the fuck out of here, said Sir Topham Hatt. I'll show them, he thought. I just want to point out this episode with James, the two-parter where he's pulling the, the coaches and then he pulls the freight cars or trucks or whichever version you watch. Um, it's one of my favorite episodes. Very early on in the series. I'll show them, he thought. They think Gordon is the only engine who can pull coaches. Fuck him. I'll jump and I'll puff and I'll break your door in. Oh, this is creepy. Drives me crazy. Close the fucking door, will you? You're letting out all the cold. Look, here's $20. Go down to Burger King, why don't you? I'll <gasps> save that much on electricity. Close the goddamn door. <laughs> It's funny how he brings up Burger King. I actually had for dinner had Wendy's. Oh, God, these are funny. Well, guys, that's it for this uh, reaction video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, it's been a while since I've done one of these. I'll try to do more of these down the line because I know they're heavily requested. Next time I'm doing, I think, a request reaction, but I will keep you posted when uh, that's coming around. So what did you guys think of this video? Let me know in the comment section below. And until the next video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys later. This is Big Jack Film signing off saying, as George Carlin would put it, the best way I can do it in improv, don't be a dick, said Sir Topham Hat. Later.